Lawyers representing Levy Aaron left here the prisoner ward at Bellevue Hospital after talking to their client. One of the lawyers said, in fact, Mr. Aaron is still hearing voices, and he tries to drown them out by listening to music. The two lawyers hired by his family went to the criminal psychiatric ward at Bellevue Hospital this afternoon. For a couple of hours, they met with their client, Levy Aaron. It's the first extended meeting the two have had with the suspected murderer of eight-year-old Libby Kletsky. This is the first opportunity we have really to sit down with him and, and have a conversation with him, an attorney-client conversation. Uh, our goal today is to uh, get an idea of what his, uh, his mental capacity is. On Friday, a Brooklyn judge ordered Aaron's evaluation to determine if he's mentally competent to stand trial. Lawyers say mental competency just requires the ability to understand the charges filed and that one is involved in a legal proceeding. But Aaron's lawyers say they will seek an insanity plea for their client, who's admitted to police he smothered and dismembered the little boy. There were times that he was very clear. He knew about his childhood. It seems that his childhood was really without incident. It was kind of normal, if you want to say that. Uh, and then there were times when we had asked very, very legal and pointed questions where he became extremely introverted. And most of the times he wasn't able to answer. At Levy Aaron's home in the Kensington section of Brooklyn, crime scene investigators today continued combing through his apartment, collecting evidence. Over the weekend, investigators seemed to focus on Aaron's living room as the place Libby Kletsky was murdered. A couch, chairs, mattress were confiscated, along with the 35-year-old hardware clerk's computer. One neighbor said six months ago, Aaron had tried to lure his young son into a car. First of all, we didn't know who it was, and we wasn't sure if my son was exaggerating or not. So, and he only asked him to come into the car for a ride. He asked your son to get in the car for a ride? Right. Okay. That was it. Did you file a complaint no. with the NYPD or with Shamrim? No, no. No, we didn't have a license plate or anything to file a complaint with. How long ago did this interaction happen with Levy? A half a year ago. The grand jury that's expected to indict Levy Aaron has not yet come with a decision. One reason may be that the prosecutor is being very careful. Charlie Hines has said, uh, indicated they want to be very careful so as not to perhaps make the mistakes or lose cases as has happened here in New York City and in Florida.